All right, so in this video, I'm going to share with you why you should not have wrapped BTC on any other network other than the Bitcoin network. It's okay to buy it there, but make sure you store it in the actual authentic Bitcoin network, not the Lightning network. And in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to do that and why you should even care. So let's jump into it. All right, so right here, this is the WBTC website. Yes, there's BTC.B, BTC.P, there's all sorts of BTCs. But essentially what you're doing is trusting this company to hold your Bitcoin and make sure they don't get hacked. You maybe remember USDC, Silicon Valley Bank, actually had a bit of a bank run, they collapsed, and USDC tanked because they didn't have the proof of reserves one to one. This could happen even if this is hacked for like even like 5% of their BTC, the market could overreact, it could crush the price of the BTC. And you really have no straightforward way of pulling the money out directly, getting your BTC one to one back ever again. So that's a risk. I mean, just to show you right here, this is the price of BTC. Here's one of the wrap BTCs gone bad down at 28. There was even one on Solana that went near zero because there was a hack on a bridge. So just know that if you want to be safe and really feel like you have Bitcoin, you have to own Bitcoin and it has been the Bitcoin network. So in order to do that, there's like atomic swaps and stuff to go from Ethereum into BTC, but just use an exchange. I think that's way easier than atomic swaps or any of these other technical solutions. Granted, that's the future. Future, but we're going to just do this. So a lot of exchanges charge about 0 0.1, 0 0.1. But what's the most expensive one? Let's go down here. And that is Coinbase. It charges half a percent for exchanging. And the reason why I bring this up, is because you're going to have to exchange from wrap BTC to BTC on an exchange. The two exchanges that I do recommend, I mean, I'm speaking to mostly Americans. So most of us have Coinbase. So now their fees have actually changed maker taker. Maker means you do limit orders. You can do a limit order very, very easily and fulfill it right away. So, however, the fee structure over here is it's much more reasonable. My fee structure is a third of the price of Coinbase. So just know that. So what you're gonna need to do is send it into Coinbase or you're gonna need to send it into Kraken. So how you do that for Coinbase, since many of you have that, click on send and receive. We already have, when you go to my assets, we'll just search wrap BTC, send and receive. Oh, I don't have any crypto, let's click receive. And then we're able to receive to wrap Bitcoin. And the, the cool thing, I will say that on Coinbase, is that if you have, you don't want to bridge your wrap BTC, which actually has pretty low liquidity on a lot of the layer twos, you can just send it straight to Coinbase and then send it over to Kraken or anywhere else. So here you can actually receive wrap BTC on a Arbitrum, obviously Ethereum, Avalanche C chain, and Optimism. That's really cool. Kraken doesn't support that. So even if you wanted to just send it in very easily, you grab this, go over to your wallet. Okay, so let's pretend that this is wrap BTC. We're gonna click on it. We're gonna send it to our Coinbase account and we're gonna go point zero 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 one. pretty much just send it. We go to next, confirm the transaction. Obviously you do not wanna send Ethereum to wrap BTC, but I don't have any right now. So just make sure you do that. It's sent over. Gas is extremely cheap right now, which is nice. Uh, so it's a good thing to actually know how to do. If you have Kraken, this is how you do it. Uh, we're gonna go over to our portfolio. We're actually, we have BTC here. We have the original BTC. So let's go to deposit, search wrap BTC. Here it is. Uh, there's only the network, the Ethereum network option. So we'd copy it here, go back to MetaMask. We would pretend we're on a wrap BTC right there. Drop it in there. Obviously choose your amount, 0 0.001. Next, confirm the transaction. And uh, obviously not what I'm gonna execute, but uh, it's pretty simple like that. Once it's in here, you actually immediately wanna swap it or trade it. There you go, wrap BTC, BTC. So you can do it like that. You just trade all your wrap BTC for BTC here in, remember if you ever use this non-pro edition, they charge you like 1% to trade, it's ridiculous. So you click here and you go to advanced. Coinbase is ridiculous with their fees. So let's see this uh, trading pair, WBTC. Hey, they got a wrap BTC, BTC right here. So this is only one transaction you need to make. And uh, so you go ahead and you have the BTC, send that over to your hardware wallet. So I should have uh, Ledger, Ledger open going. Make sure you open the Bitcoin app. You have a hardware wallet, and then you have these three different types of addresses. So look, let's go into this and just quickly show you. So, uh, this is legacy starts fix of one. Nested segwit, just segwit, legacy segwit starts with a three. Native segwit, which isn't supported by many exchanges, starts with a BC1Q. And then taproot, 
is the future, which is really not uh, integrated many other ones. Like you can't send to legacy. Like if you were to send your SegWit Bitcoin over to a legacy one address, it would go, but you can go from legacy up to SegWit. It's it's a little complicated, but it's it's very important to know because Bitcoin gets complicated because it's so old. Okay, so let's show you what Bitcoin is here. I don't know how to send my Bitcoin. This is what you do. You go to deposit, like regular Bitcoin, and it shows that three. So that's a SegWit address. All right, well, let's look over at Kraken. Deposit. It's like network. Not Lightning. I don't store value on Lightning. It's, it's a three, so it's SegWit. So just know that your Bitcoin should be on SegWit and takes forever to process. So if you are sending it to a hardware wallet, typically do your own research. Maybe it's different on your exchange. It would go into the SegWit wallet. Yeah, so make sure you do that. Okay, so the whole point of this is to get your BTC onto a hardware wallet and on the BTC network. No more wrap BTC. Because look, if one thing happens to wrap Bitcoin, it could kind of crash the crypto market a little bit, and it could also steal all of your wrapped BTC. So you having wrapped BTC is not really having BTC. Just know that. And this is the way to make sure that you secure your value in crypto. Because look, a lot of us want to hold this for a while. Maybe sell at the top, maybe buy at the bottom. But the only way to, to make sure that an exchange going down, a wrapped BTC going down doesn't take you out, is to actually secure your Bitcoin hardware wallet on the SegWit network. All right, so that's all I got for you. If you have any other questions, check the link in the description if you want to get a, a ledger or a link to some of the exchanges. Not a big fan of Coinbase or high fee exchanges, so Kraken's probably the way to go for you if you're American. All right, take care. See you on the next video.